What is battle rap? Very tough question indeed. Is it spoken word? Is it performance art? Is it rap in its purest form? Is it a lane for great lyricists who can't necessarily make great music? Is it angry man poems? Is it theater? Is it cinema? Now, I don't believe in absolutes, but there's only one correct answer in all of these choices, and I'll give you some time to figure it out. Dan K, can we get a countdown? Okay, the correct answer is yes. Yeah, 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 I know. You all got it wrong, but let me learn your sense. Battle rap is the motherfucking masterpiece of onomatopoeias and malproprisms. This shit is the language arts class with Urban Dictionary. You can catch double entendres that are idioms and a pun at the same time and catch some imagery with every other word rhymes. It's a goddamn Playboy match in a word porn. Battle rap is art. Yeah, we are. Fuck you mean. See, I challenge you to find any modern piece of literature that involves more wordplay and manipulation of language in a way that is still entertaining and digestible on the surface level as a loaded lugs verse. And I'll give you not a motherfucking thing because you ain't going to find it anyway. But every artist is just a vehicle for his tools to make the art. And as painters have their paint, paint brushes and canvas, ballers have their bars, delivery, performance, stage presence. So what's the bar? Shit, I got more questions than Christianity. But it's a good question. And it's a simple question with a simple answer. A bar in the battle rap sense is wordplay. Any kind of wordplay, as long as it hits, is a bar. How good of a bar? And that's subject to interpretation. Now, I know some music nigga gonna be like, it's actually 11 teen measures of a the cleft. Nah, fuck that shit. Ain't no metronomes in battle rap, dog. A bar is wordplay. And let's keep it at that, dog. Don't be that guy. So, in my personal opinion, a good bar is like a Quentin Tarantino movie. There's gonna be some vulgarity, violence, and a plot twist that you didn't see coming, and you're likely to catch something new on the second watch. Now, when put together, they can come to a beautiful and complex scheme. Scheme is like that movie, The Usual Suspects, where they showed us the newspaper clippings and warning signs on the wall behind the detective desk, and the person seated in front of the desk using these clippings to concoct a story which no one caught until the end, resulting in a mind-blowing reaction. And the purpose of a scheme is to intertwine references to something connected that is still unrelated to the opponent and do it with a perfect subtlety that you can get at least three bars in before the audience even catches what you're putting down. I don't even know if that made sense to me. Hmm. Well, a great example is Daylight's MK Mortal Kombat scheme. <laughs> like he was fucking Mr. Garrison from South Park. Okay. 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 And within these bars, he's sliding in subtly the names of Mortal Kombat fighters, but chopping the syllables up so phonetically, it's a double entendre. Nigga, you would get <laughs> After being thoroughly entertained and confused, the crowd finally catches that he's been saying NK, as in the initials of Mortal Kombat. Now, that might not have done it for y'all, but I went nuts when I heard this. It's like fucking word magic, man, and this shit is what makes the art of battle rap so amazing. So, like I said, the most generic term used to describe what's going on in battle rap, as far as a bar, is wordplay. Now, I don't think anyone can deny that the backbone of any form of theater is a script. In this case, the bars, the verses, the work, but never underestimate the art of performance. So don't get me wrong, I love a good bar just as much as the next guy, but there's definitely an art to performance that has to be a lot harder than it looks because apparently all us niggas ain't got it. Whether it's Hitman Holla, Disaster, New Jersey Twerk, K-Shine, Briz Rothstein, and their raw energy and authentically angry delivery, or guys like Goods, Pat Stay, Fresco, or Chilla Jones who can command the crowd with charisma and getting their point across loud and clear without even losing their cool. And if you think about it, sometimes performance can matter more than actual bars themselves. 
I mean, it's kind of the literal meaning of action speaking louder than work. Of course, it's a lot more nuanced than that. You definitely have to be able to read the crowd and your timing must be right. This shit is like a legit super talent. And if you're somebody like John John Ladon or Rum Nitty and you have a combination of great punchlines, storytelling schemes, high energy delivery, well, then fucking save some pussy for the rest of us, man. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all niggas is haters, dog. I'm trying. I'm trying. Fucking trying. And then there's freestyles and rebuttals. Let's say performance and writing are the opposite sides of the battle rap spectrum. Freestyle and rebuttals would be dead in the center. So it's a combination of improv acting and regular acting, which kind of takes another combination of great preparation of your core material and mental quickness. So what a lot of people don't know is most battle rappers can freestyle all day. But for 99% of us, Creating intricate wordplay takes time, let alone creating something on the spot before, after, or if you're really brave, in the middle of your round, which you probably memorize by repetition, is fucking mental gymnastics. It's like being able to sing and play the guitar at the same time, except you gotta come up with the lyrics of the song while you're playing. Shit's hard. I mean, my favorite rebuttal was the beginning of Illmac second or third versus Big K. The once then bearded Big K had called Illmac the little brother from Roseanne moments before it ended the round. Seconds later, when Illmac starts his round, he hits her with a rebuttal calling him the dad from Roseanne. I mean, you gotta you gotta show it. I, I don't do justice. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. Act like he's so damn hard. I mean, fucking incredible. I mean, who thinks that fast? It, it, and, it, and it can be that clever. And rhyme, and on stage, on camera, under all the lights and preference. I mean, come on, they ain't doing that shit, Hamilton, son. You know what I'm saying? Ill man, dog. Incredible. So, now the last part of the art that's really slept on, I think, it, but it's probably the most important part, is the cinematography. Like, performance and lyrics, the charisma are cool, but not as cool if nobody sees it. You know what I mean? If it looks like it was shot on a Nokia phone, like my battle verse Max Taylor. You don't have to watch that, but just know that's how it looks. I mean, think about why niggas can watch Ong Bak or Belly 1,200 times but can't sit through a whole porno. I mean, both have terrible acting and titties, but Belly is aesthetically pleasing. I mean, a good film crew will essentially put you in the room wherever the action is, and it's a lot like staging a live play, but unlike theater, there's no set or backdrop in the battlers, and the camera crew have to paint that picture for you. Good cinematography, sound quality, and editing paramount to a classic battle no exaggeration bad editing or sound can make a really good battle unwatchable and a good crew can work their way around the random shit that happens at live performances like unruly crowds altercation dead time between rounds or other nuisances that might distract you from what's going on not to mention that 99 percent of battle rap fans can't make it to the actual events so the rap league's livelihood depended on the entire quality of his content i mean they gotta make this shit look fun enough to make niggas think damn that shit's fire i'm super down to fly across country to book a hotel room and buy a new fit still spend 50 to 250 dollars to get into this bitch you know what i'm saying this shit has to look good now we can't talk about this without mentioning the ruin your day crew from what i understand they've started out filming skate videos and by now they pretty much created a big stage look we have today in battle rap as well perfecting the small room athletics too they actually got a nice range from dark rooms with natural light from a living room to big events and i know there's some controversy surrounding avocado but that's not what this video is about and i'm gonna save that for the racism in battle rap plus to ignore the contributions that were made by the ruin your day crew will, will be playing clayton dom who put in just as much work as avo and ain't did shit to no one plus he's an air force vet and we support the motherfucking troops not the government I know there's some other film crew, like uh, whoever does the stuff for RBE is fantastic, but I can't think of too many classic battles that wasn't filmed by Ruin Your Day in the last three years. And, and, and that's all I got. Well, that's, that's all Dan K let me do because he be, he be hacking my shit. But maybe because all my 
run on sentences and shit, but I'll still be making good points and doing hella research. Fuck y'all. Trying to work my way up. Next time, we're going to hit you with battle rap as a sport or battle rap as a business. It depends on who I get to talk to me about this shit. And, um, you know, just, just keep it funky. Also, um, go online by Sinsane Asylum by Sintu Taylor. Uh, shout out to my sponsors, me, myself, and Dan K. We're the best. Bye, guys.